Hey y'all, welcome back to the party. It's your girl Brit Reacts, and today we are reacting to uh, the bartender warrant try. I can read, I promise. Let's try that again. The bartender tried to warn me. This is Gabriel Iglesias. Let's see what he has to say. I'm not trying to preach to nobody. This is what you got to do with your life. Hell no, shoot. You like burgers? Kill it. Like us. <laughs> I'm just saying that's what I'm going through. And then people think, oh, he's trying to lose weight because he's doing movies. He wants to look better. He wants to be accepted. He wants to be accepted. No, 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 no. Don't get it twisted, you guys. Don't even think that. At my highest weight of 445 pounds, the level of acceptance I had was amazing. Okay? To put it to you like this, To put it to you like this, at 445 pounds, there was women throwing themselves at me. At four oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Let me tell you something. It does not matter the size, the height, the color, nothing. If you're funny and you have a good personality, you don't have to worry about a thing. You got nothing to worry about. Nothing to worry about. You heard it here. 445 pounds, there was women throwing themselves at me. At 445 pounds, there was men. <laughs> oh, in Bay Area, let me tell you something about gay men. <laughs> I know you're in here. I saw the line. I'm going to tell you something about gay men. Gay men are very creative, they're very persistent, and they're very opportunistic when they want to achieve the mission. The mission. They're just as calculated as straight men are. I'll give you an example. I'll tell you a story, right? So, one night, Martin and I are at a bar. Oh, we're having drinks. If Martin is involved, it's a good night, it's a good time, and it's a great story. I'll give you an example. I'll tell you a story, right? So, one night, Martin and I are at a bar, and we're having drinks. And that should come as no surprise. Oh, really? <laughs> they were drinking? Yeah, we killed it. So, <laughs> as we're drinking, Martin is paying attention and he's listening in to a conversation that's happening about 15 feet away between these two girls. They're going back and forth and one of them was like, I don't believe we finished the whole bottle. How the hell are we supposed to get home? Martin stands up, looks at me and says, bro, I'll be back. And then it began the hunt. <laughs> um, not about Martin, it was just about being that girl who's like been with your friend and you're talking all night and you're eating, you know, like at a tapas restaurant, you order a bottle of wine and at the like, it, it, you're like, how did we get to the bottom of this bo bottom of this bottle of wine? That's such a true thing. Oh my gosh. How many times has that happened to me? You're like, how did we get here? And wine drunk is a different kind of drunk. All right. <laughs> And then it began, the hunt, you know, freaking. <laughs> Gay men are the exact same way. They listen, they focus, they pay attention. They wait for one of the cows to get away from the rest of the herd so they can corner it and strike. Four hours later, Martin and I are at the bar and I'm 16. Four hours? Oh, yeah, and I feel fantastic. <laughs> and I tell Martin, bro, I don't remember the last time I had this many shots of tequila. And Martin goes, bro, you're crazy, Fluffy. You're crazy. Wait right here. I got to pee. And so he leaves to the restroom, and I'm leaning against the bar. The bar is the only thing keeping me standing. And from across the room, this guy stands up, looks at his friends, and says, I'll be back. The beveled foot, the beveled foot behind him. <laughs> Look how he steps back and says, I'll be back. <laughs> and then it began the hunt. And he gets in my face and he tells me, I just have to say, I am such a huge fan of yours. Oh my God. Anytime someone says they're a huge fan of mine, it automatically makes me smile. Even more so if I've been drinking. Oh yeah, if I'm drinking, I'm like, thank you. 
Thank you. Bro, I was so loaded, I bowed. Thank you! Oh! <laughs> That's real. It it gets that bad sometimes. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. I'm gathered. Thank you. Bro, I was so loaded, I bowed. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> the guy puts his hand on my shoulder and he says, I just have to say, you have gotten me through some difficult time. And he stops talking and he squeezes and he goes, Oh my God, do you work out? I was so drunk, I said, a little. <laughs> You're the first person in the <laughs> And he's like, oh, you can totally tell. And he squeezed the hand and I said, ah. I'm sorry, am I overstepping? No, no, you don't understand. I'm stressed out. That felt pretty good. <laughs> Want me to rub both your shoulders and your back and scratch it? Because I will. Oh. Whoa! <laughs> hey, go for it. He bent over. Why would he bend over? <laughs> oh my gosh, Fluffy, you are taking me out with this one. Oh my gosh. Hey, go for it. <laughs> he grabs me by the shoulders, you guys. He grabs me by the shoulders and he <laughs> turns me around. Now I'm facing the bartender and the bartender is trying to warn me. The bartender's like, hello. <laughs> hello. <laughs> hello. drunk I'm like <laughs> that might be I mean the funniest one I've seen from him oh my gosh the physicality I think from the way he like kicked his beveled his foot back to the bowing to the bending over like I think this is the most physical I've seen him that was such a that was funny oh man okay all right that was hilarious oh lord have mercy <laughs> hello <laughs> all right guys go have the day that you deserve peace